Would you like to know what makes the Sunday Knox Guard Sprocket such a great buy? Today we're going to do an explain and review on the Sunday Knox Guard Sprocket. As always, we want you to leave a comment below so that you can enter our 2,500 subscriber giveaway and our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, stay tuned for the video later. Um, we're going to tell you how you guys can enter that um, just by commenting, liking this video, uh, subscribing to our channel, and turning on your notification bells. Um, but uh, we're also going to tell you all the specs and stuff about this sprocket, what, uh, what chains it fits, what cranks it fits. Uh, we're going to tell you where you guys can buy this, this at and a ton of other things. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, first off, uh, this sprocket this is one of our best selling sprockets. Um, I think the reason why is that it's so moderately priced. It's not a crazy expensive sprocket and it actually helps save your chain and stuff like that. Um, another cool thing is that it comes in multiple colors. It comes in black, blue, purple, and a raw color. The raw is more of like a, a um, almond shell um, tumbled, tumbled look. Um, so it just gets tumbled in almond shells and just has like a, you know, I mean, a flat look. Um, I would almost say like a, a raw, just a raw aluminum, uh, just a look. So it looks kind of raw, not polished, um, just pretty basic. But uh, it, lo it looks super, super cool if you're running that in like a raw stem and some other raw parts. So definitely, definitely cool. Um, it's also available in multiple sizes. It's available in 25 tooth and 28 tooth. So if you're running different um, styles, of, or actually if you're riding different styles, you might wanna uh, consider using a different size sprocket. So um, Sunday made it in those two sprocket sizes because I think there's a, a big use for those sizes. Uh, 25, usually you're going to want to run on a cassette wheel. Um, that's because you feel the instant engagement and that's a normal drive similar to like a 16 in the back and a 44 tooth in the front, which is an old school uh, gear ratio. And that gear ratio is moderately uh, set up to pedal pretty easy and stuff like that to be able to climb hills, um, to descend hills and get top speed and stuff like that. Um, if you're riding like a free coaster, uh, or trails, um, you, you probably want to go up to a 28 tooth. Uh, the 28 tooth, what it's going to do is it's actually going to make the, the bike a little bit harder to pedal um, if you're riding trails and stuff like that, but your top end speed is going to be able to go a lot higher without having to take as many uh, pedals. So um, if you're jumping big jumps and you need more speed and you're just maxing out on the 25, then I would say go up to 28. Um, if you're riding a free coaster, us here at the shop, we highly suggest running a 28 on a free coaster because it sucks up a lot of that slack when you initially go to take your first pedal on a free coaster. Uh, with the 25, we noticed that it, it makes your, your slack a lot longer or a lot more um, degrees. A lot of people complain about how they don't like how it drops so much or used to a cassette, but the bottom line is that one's a cassette, one's a free coaster, one's going to have the slack enabled the wheel to free coast and the other one's not going to have the slack that's why it pedals backwards so you can't have your cake and eat it too so you got to pick one of those sides and then kind of figure out uh, what you want to do but I'm telling you right now the 28 tooth size that Sunday has is taking up a lot of that slack and it really helps you out if you're riding a free coaster so don't knock the free coaster out of the water just yet I would say try a 28 out see how you like it and then go from there um, I'm pretty sure that you like it. Another thing is, is on a free coaster riding around town, it helps out significantly. Uh, if you pedal around you know, in your neighborhood and you go and ride bikes, uh, which most people do, the 28 will allow you to take off faster um, at the top end while you're pedaling around the neighborhood. Once you start taking the crank, you'll feel it engage a lot faster and it feels really, really nice. All my bikes, I run a 28 because I run a free coaster. Um, so I would suggest doing the same thing. It feels really, really nice. But cool idea on, on Sunday's part for doing that. Um, let's talk about uh, the sprocket a little bit. Uh, this sprocket is mach uh, machined out of 6061 aluminum and it's got a, a couple cool features. Uh, it's got, got a guard sprocket, obviously. On the backside is a, the normal sprocket. So 
Um, if you're wondering, hey, you know, I see these pictures and it has this little sprocket and there's no teeth on it, how does that work on my chain? Well, surprise, it's got actual teeth on the back just like your regular sprocket does. Uh, if you're buying a, you know, an inexpensive sprocket, remember you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, most of the, the non garnish sprockets, they're not going to hold up to sprocket grinds and crank arm grinds and stuff like that. Uh, how your chain actually breaks is that uh, when you hit a ledge or, or a bump or a rail or a snag in it, it actually hits the side of the plate on your actual chain and it rips the side of the, the plate off and it bends it out and then that allows the, the pin to basically be exposed and then allows the chain to just separate when you actually take a pedal. That's why you, every single time you take a pedal and that chain breaks and you bust your knee is because you're, you're putting that torque on it and then it just separates a chain and then causes you to bust your knee. So that's why, or that's how a chain breaks. Um, so with these guards sprockets, what it actually does is instead of hitting your plate on the side of your chain, it'll just hit the guard and just slide right over, thus allowing your chain to last a lot longer. So simply by spending a little money on an actual sprocket will give your chain a lot longer life. So this definitely helps out. Uh, ever since I've been running a guard sprocket, I haven't had any troubles with breaking chains. Uh, just does an amazing job. And uh, you know, I mean, Sunday knows what's up. They definitely did the same thing. Uh, I do notice a couple things on this sprocket that's a little bit different than others. I notice this one has five bolt holes. So what that allows you to do is, is sometimes your bolt, your bolt on your sprocket comes loose and this thing ends up shaking around and then it wallers this out and it creates this hole to be a lot bigger and then you get a, some chain slop so that'll actually cause some some uh, problems with it um, what this sprocket does is allow you to try it again five different times and put in a different hole to try to suck that up so very very cool on their part if you're a beginner you might think about getting a sprocket like this because it has five different tries so that you could try it out um, I rarely put in a different hole, but I've seen a lot of our customers come in and they've put it in multiple holes and I've seen the hole wallered out and that's because they allow the bolt to come loose. They don't maintain their bike. Uh, they, make sure, they don't make sure that it's, it's tight and it ends up jacking it up, but you can end up saving the sprocket by putting another bolt hole. So very, very cool. Um, another thing is that I noticed that it has these little cutouts right there on the actual guard. Um, that is because a lot of these sprocket guards, uh, they are pretty thick. If you look at this one here, it's relatively thick. And with that, when you, when you put a crank arm up to it, sometimes the crank arms are real thick, it hits a sprocket. And what, what it does is it actually leaves a gap between the, the crank arm um, spot and the actual hole. And what people do is they end up tightening this bolt down, don't realizing that there's a gap, and they actually bend this sprocket inward like that. And now they got a brand new sprocket that's bent. So. Sunday done a cool job by machining those out so that your uh, crank arm could drop in there a little bit and that that uh, bolt hole could get flush with the other bolt hole and then you could bolt it down flush and then that thus allowing the sprocket to be very very centered. Um, so very very cool. Um, also too is where the bolt hole is. I noticed they machined it out a little bit too so that there's clearance so when you put the actual crank arm on there it clears that as well. Um, very, very cool on that part. Uh, this, this sprocket here has um, a 24 millimeter uh, hole right here. Um, it also comes with two spacers, uh, a 22 millimeter spacer and a 19 millimeter spacer. So the 24 hole with no spacers at all is gonna fit uh, some of the newer cranks, which is a 24 millimeter spindle. Um, you've seen those on a, a bunch of new cranks and stuff like that. Um, that fits those. Um, if you're running like an older crank, which most of the three-piece cranks are, uh, they are uh, 22, which is a slightly bigger one, so you're going to use that 22. It's a very, very thin hat washer. So, um, let me see if I grab one of those hat washers real quick. So, I don't know if you can see it, there might be a lot of glare, but that one's really thin, that one's a 22 one. And then there's a thicker one, which is for the 19 millimeter spindle. If you got stock cranks in your bike or some old profile cranks, most likely it's a 19 millimeter spindle uh, one. And all you gotta do to see if it's which one's the right one is get the spacer, slide it onto your spindle, and whichever one fits snug on your spindle is gonna be the one that fits on here. So this sprocket is cool because it allows you to run 
any of those three uh, crank arm si or crank spindle sizes and fit any crank arms onto your, your sprocket. Um, uh, another thing is, is that the main feature on the front, uh, the thing that stands out the most is this Sunday Knox logo right here. And this thing is laser etched on there after it was anodized black. So that's actually the aluminum that's below it just shining right through and it makes it stand out quite a bit. So that looks very, very cool. Um, on the back side, um, if you look at it, it looks pretty similar to a lot of sprockets. Um, that's because this is a very, very strong design and uh, at the price that this sprocket is, is, which is one of the lowest costing sprockets, it's full aluminum, there's no plastic junk on here that's just gonna you know, I mean, get eaten up real quick when you do one sprocket grind or you know, I mean, anything like that. And uh, so this thing's built to last and it, you know it's not gonna bend. Uh, this, this inner sprocket is super, super thick. So the only thing that could bend on this is the teeth, which most likely aren't because this guard's gonna protect it and it's gonna protect the teeth from bending. The same way that that chain ends up, you know, I mean, coming apart is the same way that it bends these teeth. So you gotta think about that. If you uh, don't have a guard, it's gonna bend those teeth and it's gonna mess up your chain. With this here, you can bash straight on it, boom, 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 and it's not gonna bend. Um, that's because this guard's protecting it and it's way thicker than a normal sprocket and this thing isn't plastic, so this thing is definitely gonna hold up. Uh, I noticed another cool thing on this sprocket is the fact that it's got a little recess machine right here. Um, that's so that it pulls it away from the, the actual uh, bottom bracket a little bit and it, it helps your chain alignment a little bit more. So that allows you to you know, mess around with it, maybe put a washer here and then uh, you know, I mean, it, it should help it run you know, I mean, pretty flush on that. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much, uh, actually no, no, I got a couple more things. Um, this sprocket here, it's got a pretty big gap here. So this, this chain, or this uh, sprocket guard, you could run with any chain. You could, as long as it's an inch and eighth chain, you could run an inch and eighth chain, uh, you could do a full link chain, you can do a half link chain, you can do an interlock V2 chain, you can do a supreme chain, anything like that will fit in here. This gap is really, really big, so it'll fit and accommodate any of those actual chains. Um, yeah, it'll fit, it'll fit like the 410 chains, which is a real basic chain. So pretty much it, it's standard, it'll fit any bike. Um, just, you know what I mean, slap one of these on. It'll also, this sprocket will actually fit one piece cranks too. So you'll have to take a washer off and then put the bearing race on here. But this will fit a one piece crank arm. So this is a bolt hole, that will, that's where the little pin will go. And you can run this on your one piece cranks. So even if you ain't got three piece cranks, you can still run the sprocket. So very, very cool. Um, very, very cool design from Sunday. Um, you know, I mean, these guys have been killing it. They've been you know, producing a lot of cool products. We've been selling a lot of their stuff because they have such cool designs and they come out with stuff that's moderately priced. Um, be honest with you, I think a lot of their stuff should be more expensive. Those dudes have been killing it. This stuff's made very, very well. So I think the prices are going up actually. So if you're trying to buy a sprocket, I would buy it now because this thing is gonna go up in price in the short future and you guys are gonna see it. A lot of the other products are gonna go up in the future because oil prices and gas prices are going up. So if you're stalling out thinking that the prices are gonna get cheaper, sorry to say, they're not, they're gonna go up. So buy the stuff now, you can buy it, at our, web, our, you can buy it on our website at stackbmx.com um, where you can find this sprocket and a, a bunch of other sprockets. All the, all the other sprockets and this sprocket fit any of the chains on our website, they fit any of the cranks on our website, fit any of the bicycles on our website. Our website is a one-stop BMX shop. You can go there because everything fits. It's stuff that you actually want. Um, if you have problems with it, warranty issues, stuff like that, they're all local. Uh, we can warranty any of the stuff. It's nothing from overseas, which is really hard to get where there's no supplies. Um, they sell a lot of this stuff and they actually have a lot in stock on hand. So if you warranty something, it's not gonna take you know, I mean, eight months to get a new product. So that's why we support these brands because they're really on top of it. They're you know, I mean, more of a USA brand. Um, you know I mean? And uh, they just really, really help out their, their customers. I've been in, in bicycle shops for about 20 years 
and I've dealt with these companies for many years before I even opened my shop. That's why I support these brands because they do a really awesome job with it. There's a lot of brands that we don't sell on our website. That's because they're overseas. Um, the profit margins are really crappy for the shops. Uh, the support is really crappy. Uh, you know, I mean, warranty stuff is really, really hard to deal with. Uh, we just don't want to, you know, I mean, sell something to our customers and then be kind of SOL. Um, so, I mean, the, the brands that we carry here are U.S. based brands that support their, you know, I mean, local shops and they support the, the customers that buy stuff from them and they have great warranty issues. Um, they got, you know, I mean, just better communication skills and stuff like that as far as communication, commu communicating with us. Just because they can't, don't mean they can't. They're not good at it. But, uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, they, um, they're just really good with us. They help us, you know, I mean, all kinds of ways, jams, you know, I mean, events, stuff like that. So that's why we carry a lot of these brands. Uh, we don't want you to leave you guys high and dry. So if you want something that you, you can depend on that's, you know, I mean, quality, definitely check out our website, stackbmx.com, and buy any of your parts from there. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for supporting us. And, uh, like I said, um, I was gonna tell you guys where you, how you guys can win a bunch of free stuff from us. So at 2,500 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free parts package to one of you guys um, that uh, likes this video, uh, subscribes to our channel, uh, turn on, turns on your notification bells, and then also we want you to comment below. Tell us what you like about these videos, what you don't like about these videos. Tell us what the new products that you want to see. Let us know what tech tips you want to see. Let us know what pros that you guys want to see writing, what kind of events you want to see. All kinds of stuff. Just let us know what you want to see in BMX. And, um, just basically just help us out for new content. We got a bunch of ideas. We're starting to work on those things, but we want to hear from you because you guys are part of this channel. I, I built this shop so that we could create a story together. You guys are part of that story because eventually I'm going to run into you guys out there at the skate park, at the trails, at the street spots, at the jams, all that stuff. I'm going to run into you. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not stopping anytime soon. So we want you to get involved. Um, so leave your comments below because I want to know who you guys are and we're going to run into each other sooner or later. So thanks for supporting us. If you want to support us more, go on Stack, uh, or actually go on our Instagram at Stack BMX Shop. Make sure you guys follow us. Uh, we post a lot of cool videos on there. Uh, we let you know when these videos drop, a bunch of other stuff. We're working on a bunch of other stuff on that, that end of things. Uh, if you want to follow me personally, my Instagram is Can't Stop LA. You can follow me on there. Um, but uh, in the end, I want to thank you guys for supporting our shop. Thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for commenting below. Thanks for entering all these contests. Shout out to Ty uh, Arnett for winning our last uh, uh, parts package at a thousand subscribers. And um, oh, what did I say? I, was, I, thought, I think I told you guys how you guys can win uh, a bicycle too. Yeah, at 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a bicycle retailed at $299.95. So all you gotta do is the same thing. Just like, comment, uh, subscribe and uh, turn on your notification bell so that you guys can enter more. But uh, make sure you guys go to the other videos that we posted before. Make sure you guys watch those. Make sure you comment on all those videos because if we pick one of those videos and we can scroll through the comments and you didn't comment on one of those, that other person might be the winner. Um, I'm not too sure because that's the future. Um, so you know, I mean, the more comments you guys do on our videos, the better chances you have to winning this parts package and the bicycles. And we're gonna keep doing contests too, so that'll enter you into those contests in the future as well. So uh, yeah, keep supporting us. We'll keep supporting you. We'll keep making these videos, and we'll just make awesome BMX community. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.